tonight on the victim's side. Victim Christian LaCour's hometown. The community there finding ways to honor him. LaCour is the security guard we've told you so much about. He was killed while trying to save shoppers' lives that day. Our Aaron Jones taking us all tonight to his hometown of Farmersville. Farmersville was Christian LaCour's hometown. His family has lived here for years. I mean, everybody from here is basically born and raised here. Everybody sticks together, helps each other out. The community heartbroken to learn Saturday during the mass shooting at the Allen Premium Outlets, he lost his life. Heroically, the security guard was trying to save others. You know, to have somebody from our town, it just really hits home. Christian was just a good, solid young man. He was a learner, very inquisitive. Asked very good, penetrating questions, and uh, he was a, a seeker of knowledge and understanding, and he was uh, a really good young man. Um, and it's, it's a tragic loss to lo lose him at the age of 20. Mayor Brian Wiebold says the community has been working to find ways to honor him. We had restaurants reach out to the family and start providing them food. CBTX, the bank here, we're opening an account for them, for the family. The Hayloft also creating bows to put on light posts. For his favorite colors were black and red, so we did black and red bows. We want the family to, to get through this, and none of us can imagine what they're going through. And obviously our loss and our care for him uh, is far surpassed by that of his family. Everybody in Farmersville is just one big family. And so I think just everybody sticking together, coming together and just really remembering, helping the family and, you know, keeping the memory alive. And these red lights on Farmersville Parkway, the main road leading into the downtown area. Just another example of that red. Again, one of Christian's favorite colors. The city tells us they plan to keep these lit for the foreseeable future. Reporting live in Farmersville tonight, Aaron Jones, CBS News, Texas.